In this video, I'm going to Tokyo, Japan to go to a restaurant where they sell a mega-sized ramen that is impossible for most people to finish. But well, I'm not most people, and I like to eat a huge portion of everything. So today I'm going to find out how delicious it is, how much it costs, and whether I can finish it or not. The restaurant is in Shinjuku area of Tokyo, so come with me. So I've seen this place a bunch of times on YouTube, so you guys might have seen it before too. This is the ramen restaurant that I'm going to. It's called Yaro Ramen. It seems that they mostly sell normal sized ramen, but they're very famous for having this mega sized ramen. Yeah, it looks big, but I feel like I can stuff it in my mouth. Now, should I go inside? Ooh. Just like many of other ramen restaurants, there's a kiosk that you can use to order the food, except this one didn't have English. I don't know if you guys know, I know how to speak in Japanese. I don't know how to read Japanese. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Because I didn't want to mess up my important order, I just asked the worker if he can help me. Okay, maybe I should just ask them, because I'm not sure which one. Just like many of other places in Japan, it was cash only. The ramen was only about $15.70, not bad for a huge ramen. So I got this ticket for the mega ramen. So once you get the ticket, you hand it over to one of the employees and they're gonna make it for you. Oh man, this is going to be amazing. So it seems that they don't have a table, but you sit on one of these bar stools. That makes me feel more Japanese, I like that. A lot of ramen restaurants in Japan don't have any tables. It seems that in Japan, ramen isn't something that you get with a bunch of people. It's kind of like a quick and delicious meal when you're by yourself. So what I got is their mega buta ramen, which means mega port ramen. Came here straight from the airport. Haven't had any food today, so I can't wait. Oh my god, I think it's here. Oh. Wow. Oh my god. There's so much food that the soup actually overflew to another bowl beneath it. I don't know how big it looks to you guys. Oh my god, it's heavy. Oh. <laughs> it's it's big. I hope you guys can feel the size of this thing. It is just massive. You see how I'm struggling to balance it? And I'm a strong guy. I would say this is like a triple portion of a normal ramen. Let me start chowing it down. I was so happy to see that this ramen has all of the ingredients, not just noodles and soup. Oh, but it looks like a legitimately good ramen. Look at all that pork that's in there. Every element of ramen, it has it just in like a huge portion. I don't know how far I can get through this. You guys believe in me, right? Start with some of that pork. Ooh. You guys want some? Ooh. Wow, that pork was amazing. I see lots of bean sprouts and chopped garlics. Oh, I hope you guys were here to enjoy this with me. I think the ramen is actually in the bottom. There you go. Oh, wow. Even the ramen is like fat and thick. The noodle was completely cooked, but it still felt really chewy, which is the way I personally like it. This ramen is amazing. I am enjoying this so much right now. Ugh, how about I get some of that ramen noodles with the pork? I think many of you guys already know this, but in Japan, when you're eating noodles, slurping isn't considered bad manners. In fact, it's how you're supposed to eat it. It's a little different from Korea. Um, in Korea, if you overdo it, people don't really like it. And I think even in Japan, if you're trying to raise up some girls, then you might want to go easy on slurping. But I'm just telling you guys that it is okay. Mm. Can you guys see the pork? They're just getting shredded. It's so tender. You guys probably saw me eating giant food before. And sometimes the food is huge but mediocre in quality, and that just makes it a torture session by the end. But this, this is big and good. And those are rare. That's how some people describe me too. About my biceps, of course. It seems that other customers that are here, 
They're just getting normal sized ramen, which should be plenty for most people. But you guys know me, I like to eat a lot. And it's surprisingly affordable too, right? There's just an endless amount of ramen. Talking about eating a lot, a lot of female viewers ask me if it's an unattractive thing to eat too much food in front of a man. I don't think so. If a guy has an issue with you eating a lot of food, I think that's the guy's fault. Of course, eating too much food and going out of shape and becoming unhealthy, that's a different story. In fact, I'll be honest with you guys, a lot of girls told me that they find it really attractive that I can eat a lot and I seem to be genuinely enjoying food all the time. But remember guys, this is YouTube and when a YouTuber says, yeah, a girl said I'm cool, it's probably a fake story. I think a lot of ladies for some reason find it satisfying to see their men eating a lot of food. I think by now I worked my way through about half of it. Like I said, this is not a challenge, but I am not backing down on this. Even to this point, I was still enjoying this ramen so much that I didn't plan on having any leftovers. Their soup has lots of that pork fat flavor. The soup is so rich, flavorful, full of calories. Okay, I won't deny I'm getting really full right now, but I feel like I got this. So it was huge, but it wasn't like one of those ridiculously huge challenge foods. So I felt like I might be able to finish it. The noodles starting to feel just a little bland. So I'm gonna have some addition. They look like tempura crumbs. I don't know what they are. I don't know how to read these. F around and find out. I love that phrase, by the way. That is just a great summary of everyone's lives, you know? All of us F around and we find out. We F around again, we find out more. Hopefully every time I F around, the magnitude of my F ups aren't as huge as the ones that came before it. Actually, I take that back. I don't seem to be improving at all. Wow, wow, I'm kind of glad that I added those though. They made this ramen fun again. Oh shit, boy. And I thought I wasn't gonna be able to finish it. To my own surprise, I was able to finish this giant ramen, probably because it was very good. I am so proud of myself. I actually finished it. There's a lesson to be learned here. Sometimes you see something and it scares you. You're like, oh my god, that is so huge. I can't take it. But if you actually start working on it, believe in yourself. Yes, you can take it. You're stronger than you think. Ah, oh, my friends, I made it. I hope you guys are proud. Oh, you guys know I hate having leftovers. Today I didn't. I'm happy. I'll have some more of that soup before I go. Mm. So I was very, very happy with the ramen. It's huge yet delicious. And you're getting it for only $15. So I think as long as you can finish it, it's a great deal. All right, that was good. Love this restaurant. I got the good time was. Oh. oh, it's raining a lot now. Even the sky, he's crying happy tears because I made it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys one day get to try that ramen too. There'll be a lot of videos from Japan, so I hope you guys enjoy those too. Goodbye guys. Alright guys, go watch my other videos too, they're awesome.